are in Broad Beach. We just got here. We're a little tired, like 18 hours of traveling to get here. We are trying to find the gym. We had to like force ourselves to go before we got like too tired. We're, I'm following Luca, which is never a good idea. <laughs> Let, no, we have to go this way. <laughs> so I have a shoot on Thursday. I don't know if I can share details yet. We will see, but I'm very, very excited. <laughs> Workout is done. How was your workout? <laughs> I did legs and a little bit of sprints after. How's the driving going, Luca? <laughs> they drive on the opposite side of the road here, and we had no idea. I think it's been going okay though. I didn't know. I got a quesadilla, and what did you get? I got the quinoa and chicken. This is good. This is really, really good. <laughs> Australians do not mess around with their spray tans. And I forgot flip flops, and look what they gave me they're sticky shoes. <laughs> Here is a quick upper body circuit that you can do. This is for my Jumpstart June challenge. So this is June 28th back in arms with a time under tension focus. So what I want you to do is bring the dumbbells up, hold for three whole seconds, and then bring them back down in a controlled motion. As with any bicep curl, be sure that those elbows are staying tucked in at your side and you're curling up to your shoulders and just really engage by holding that tension for three whole seconds. And you're going to do 10 reps and choose between 10 to 15 pound dumbbells. Then the next move is shoulder press. So you're just going to push those dumbbells straight above your head, really squeeze and engage your shoulder muscles, hold that upper peak position for three whole seconds. You really want to engage through your core here. Remember to exhale as you push up above your head. And with these, you can up the weight a bit, so 12 to 17 pounds and for 12 reps. Next is one arm dumbbell rows, one of my favorites. It is such a great back workout and a core and oblique workout if you are engaging your muscles properly. So you're going to do 10 reps on each side. So here's 10 reps on the left. When you drop it down, bring it back up, hold this position for three seconds, and you're gonna be using about 20 to 25 pounds, and don't forget to switch sides. Now the last exercise in the circuit is a push-up. So what you're gonna do is lower yourself, hold this position for three seconds, bring yourself back up. If you cannot do a full push-up, try to do incline, and that is where you have your hands on like a bench, and then your feet on the ground, and that will lessen the resistance and make it a little bit easier. If that is too difficult, then you can do knee push-ups, but I definitely want you to prioritize trying to focus on doing incline push-ups and then working your way up to full push-ups. Okay, so those are the four moves in the circuit. We have bicep curl, shoulder press, one-arm dumbbell row, and push-up. So you're going to do the stated number of reps, and then you're gonna repeat the entire circuit without any rest until you hit 10 minutes. Of course, if you need to take rest, it's better to take a quick you know, 15, 30 second breather and then keep going and that will help you maintain form as well, which is just as important as completing the circuit. I hope you enjoyed the workout and as always, comment below if you have any questions. How do you think you did, Luca? Your, your debut. You did not do bad. I stumbled twice. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even remember it. Yeah, I did. What are you doing? <laughs> Take off my makeup from the, from the show. Look at that. That's insane. <laughs> not used to wearing makeup. <laughs> Here is another quick little burnout set that I had recorded and I wanted to include for you guys. So this is from weeks 13, 14 of FBG 2.1 lifting guide. Uh, this is back in arms burnout set. So first we're doing a three second plank with a push up and then you're going to do that for five rounds and then we're going to do a downward dog push up. So you go down to a push up, 
push yourself back into a downward dog and you're gonna do that for five rounds as well. And then you're gonna repeat that set three total times and this is intended to be done at the end of an upper body workout so go ahead and give it a shot and let me know what you think. Hair and makeup is all done so we are on our way to the Shape Body Shop event. I'm doing two classes today. My outfit, this is for class one. <laughs> Very excited and here we go. but that was amazing. It was so good. I had so much fun meeting so many of you. There were like, how many? Like about a hundred? Yeah. Um, a bit over a hundred, maybe. And it was just so great. Thank you to everyone who came and I'm looking forward to another one of these events very soon. Now we are going to... Rome. Rome. Good morning guys, so we are about to leave Sacramento. Don't have a voice still, it's kind of coming back a little bit. Um, I wanted to show you my breakfast. <laughs> I'm having a banana and this is some, it's like protein chocolate peanut butter. Um, I've never tried it, it tastes just like peanut butter to me. <laughs> and we had eggs, this is just a plate full of yolk because Luca took them all out. I had three eggs, and then I'm gonna have this banana and the chocolate peanut butter, and then we are on our way to San Francisco for a meeting. Some other things that we did get while we were here and traveling is we stocked up on like Greek yogurt. Of course, we brought some protein along with us. Where we stay at in Sacramento whenever we come home is um, at a place that has like a kitchenette, so like we stock up on like Greek yogurt and fruit, and we even got like oatmeal. Um, just to kind of make it easier to have our own breakfast. They actually have the same thing downstairs, but it's just so much better when it's like fresh, like made, made by you. So where are we going? Uh, San Francisco. For what? For a meeting, <laughs> secret meeting. Are you excited? I'm very excited. Me too. So here are some of the snacks that I got for this plane ride. I brought two bananas, some cashews, some chopped bell peppers from home, and this complete cookie, which is a protein cookie. And I am going to go over this in more detail in just a bit. Um, here I'm just showing you a bit of the ingredients and the nutrition facts. I'll give you a hint. This isn't as good as I was hoping it would be. Um, but I did get it for the plane and then I also got these Greek yogurts. So more on all of these in just a few moments. So we got this at the airport. I showed you guys. It says creamy Greek yogurt. So I picked it up and I was just eating it and I was like, wow, this is really, really sweet. Why? So I look at the label. If you can see that, first of all, 
it's not Greek yogurt. Even though they advertise it as being Greek yogurt, it is vanilla yogurt, low fat. So just regular yogurt, okay. Then look at the sugars, 60 grams sugars. That is why it's so sweet. That is insane. Hmm. This is not a health food snack. Sorry guys. <laughs> and some other bad news. I did eat this. I kind of know that these are not that clean, but they're so good and they have a lot of protein. So it's like, okay, I'll have this on the plane. And it really upset my stomach. And I've had that happen before, but I just didn't, I was like, okay, whatever. Like maybe it's just a one-time thing, but. So I'm no longer going to eat these. I have talked about these a bit before that on the front, it says 16 grams protein. So if you look here, servings per container two. So for this 180 calories, you have to times that by two to get the total calories for this cookie. Same thing with all this information here. You have to times it all by two. So protein, what's interesting is that they advertise 16 grams on the front, but they only show the nutrition information for half the cookie on the back. And if you look here, the carbs, 27 grams, you have to times that by two to get the total number of carbs for the cookie. So they'll advertise on the front that it's 16 grams for the whole cookie, but they won't advertise that it's actually 54 grams carbs in this cookie, 30 grams sugars. So sorry guys, don't recommend these either. Just said you need to do it again. <laughs> I wonder why you're sore. Because I was working out for like how many hours? Uh, almost eight. So we are finally home and we have no trips planned. For a while so we're really excited to buckle down and just kind of really you know get back into the swing of things traveling is hard to stay on track and I would say that we did about 60 40 I wouldn't say completely 50 50 we really really try to put an effort in to make good decisions and not to get burgers everywhere we went not that burgers are bad but you know in moderation i think one reason traveling is so hard is because we're so used to being able to do what we do in our normal routine and that's like you know giving all of our effort and doing our best and when we travel that best looks a lot different than what our normal routine is and that kind of makes it hard to swallow that you can't do everything that you would like to do but really it just comes down to like i said doing your best that best is gonna look different from when you're on your routine to when you're traveling but at least you know doing something is better than nothing and i definitely didn't work out all the days that i wanted to you just have to listen to your body and that's totally okay and I think that it really helps you kind of get back on track for when you're home because you know that you didn't, you know, you don't have the guilt of totally going off track and, you know, that can sometimes cause you to defer getting back on track because you're like, 
oh, it's, it's so far gone, you know, so I find that making that extra little effort when you are traveling really makes a big difference to help you get on track when you're back home. However, with that being said, we definitely do need to get our eating back on track to kind of wrap things up. So we are going to go do a grocery vlog. That's not gonna be in this video. That will be in the next one, so stay tuned for that. And I hope you enjoyed it and found some good tips in between my travels about what to prepare, what to pack and bring to stay on track. So the grocery vlog will be coming up next and I will see you guys next time, bye. When you lose fat, you lose fat from your overall body, including from your breasts. And first, um, what are macros? Also uh, referred to as flexible dieting.